Is it a case of police brutality? A young man says state police troopers not only questioned him, one of them punched him and did it repeatedly. Good evening. The victim is a high school student, and he says he has the bruises and a ripped shirt to prove that he was attacked. Ralph Ainati spoke with him tonight and joins us live with this exclusive story. Ralph. Well, hey, guys. State police in Katanning confirmed for us late today that there was an incident at the Katanning barracks yesterday, and there is an investigation ongoing. So far, no charges have been filed in this case against a young man, a man who says he was the victim of an unprovoked police beating. There's the front of it. That's where he grabbed me the first time, and that's how much it ripped. One day after he claims he was assaulted repeatedly by a state trooper, 20-year-old Josie Hawkins says he's still shaken and sore. I had a concussion, a sprained neck, and abrasions to my head, face, neck, and back. Hawkins and a friend skipped school here in Katanning on Wednesday. Hawkins called it a senior skip day. They drove around the area and ended up in Templeton, where they were stopped by state troopers who said his friend and their car might have been involved in some recent thefts. The first cop that was the Port of Silver was getting out. He had his gun out and he said, put your hands up. Hawkins and his buddy were driven here to the Katanning State Police Barracks, where they were separated and questioned. Hawkins says it was during this interrogation when he was punched repeatedly for no reason. The first place he hit me was right here on the top of my head, and then he hit me back in here and right here. Hawkins told me the punching finally stopped when other troopers entered the room. After the first hit I yelled, I yelled, get him off me. And he got three more hits in before the corporal came in and then another cop came in and pulled him off me. Hawkins admits he may have done something that could easily be misconstrued, but it was not done aggressively. Whenever he pinned me against a chair, I, that's how I fell against the chair, and my foot was up against like his leg right here. And that's, I was pinned up against the wall. I couldn't even move my hands. My hands were like this. And he was hitting me. I said, get him off me. And they ran and said, well, you just kicked me. Good afternoon to both Armstrong County District Attorney Scott Andressi and to State Police Headquarters in Harrisburg. We called both uh, locations today but got no responses. Again, State Police in Katanning confirmed they are investigating the alleged incident. Reporting live tonight, I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.